bless us. Father, we pray for all our troops overseas. We ask you to bless them, watch over and protect them. Father God, don't let any more die over there. Bring them home as soon as possible, Father. My partner was behind me, and uh, he had just just got saved too. We was both uh, riding a motorcycle to church after. he was real because I smelled him. I know he was real. I mean, he didn't stink, but I smelled him. He was he was real, you know. Yeah. And the next day, well, that night, I backed the brakes off. <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't like that if part. <laughs> it comes, comes right after what he said in 18. 19 says, if ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. Okay, it ain't done. 20, but <laughs> you get the good stuff if you're willing and obedient. But if ye refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. If you're obedient, you get what He promises. But if you don't, you're devoured by the sword. And I remember what this batch of scriptures was sharing with me. Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 says, Enter you in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in the at. Verse 14, Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Uh-oh. Few! Few they be that find it. Straight is the gate. Where'd you start? start it, it starts at 13, and 14 is okay, the scripture. Okay, alright, alright. There's a scripture I use. 13 and 14, Matthew 13 14. So as we go through this life, we got to have that straight gate, man. Just like them horses in them shows. <laughs> your feet and your path straight for Jesus. That devil's going to come. He's going to mess with you, try to knock you off the road, put things, obstacles. But as long as you're hugging Jesus like my sister showed you when she walked with her, with her husband there, hugging her, hold on to it, you're going to make it. You and I go make it. And then Philippians chapter 4, verse 1, he says, Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved, and long for. You return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you shall return. So, wow. That was a big consequence for that, wasn't it? <laughs> You know, it's like, and that's how Satan is, y'all. And Satan hasn't changed. He's been exactly the same since the conception of time. You know, here he, 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 he tricks Eve. He tells her something that's not true. And what, he do, what does he do? He takes a, the, a little bit of truth because he says, you'll, you'll be like God. You'll know good and evil. Yeah. And it sounds good to her. What he doesn't say is, um... And you'll be separated from God. Right. You will spiritually die. Which he knew. Yes. Which because she... that was his fate. Right. Yes. And 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 what did Eve Eve knew the same thing. Eve was commanded. She, you know, God is just just like just, he, that's our dad. Eve, don't do this. If you do, this is And there's the one that really appreciates you, makes it worth it. God bless you guys.